I remember the first year that I was there and report card day when kids were failing at high rates. I would ask to see them and I would see lots of E's and they would laugh and joke and think it was okay. And I just remember clear as day, like it was yesterday, just how devastating that was to me that the kids were happy to show their friends failure. What is the program from the state or federal level that fosters students to actually work harder, to assist students in, in working harder. I don't know of any. Education is kind of headed into this business type market now. As Wayne Memorial, we can no longer just say all the kids within our boundaries are going to come to us. Because kids have choice now, parents have choice now. And so we, to be a competitive school, we have to realize that and adapt to that. If we can't instill faith, hope, in the, in the, in the, in the belief to work harder, then what do we do? Bill Gray is a special man. Bill was my school psychologist when I was at Wee Memorial High School. My name is Bill Gray and I did retire last July, but usually I'm in the school once a week, three times a week. You know, they have to kind of chase me out. He did a lot of different innovative things, and one of his programs was our Champions Program. And the Champion Program, he kind of started out of a little project of his with a trophy. I called Jack Sporting Goods in Wayne, and I said, what's the biggest trophy I can get? And he said, well, we can get you about a five-foot trophy. I said, well, I'll take it. He came to me and said that he needed, I think, $200 to buy a big, bad trophy, is what he said, and he wanted me to pay for it. Um, and um, out of the school budget. And she said, no, no, there's any money. I said, well, okay, I'm gonna buy it anyways. So I left the office, and about a half hour later, she came in my office and she said, uh, let's talk about that trophy. We started talking about what he was gonna do with the trophy, and he wanted these kids to set goals, and he wanted to try and help them, and he was gonna be their mentor. I said, well, if you hit your goal, we'll put your name on the trophy, and I'll take a picture of you with the trophy. You put it on your wall and tell your grandmother you're a champion. I mean, like, all of a sudden, and if you think you're a champion, then you are a champion. Mentoring can definitely change lives. It's really a matter of getting students excited about enrolling in, in a program. We knew that at-risk students were not going to sign up for a mentoring program on their own. We needed a way to get them to want to become a part of the program. The students get a $200 cash check made out to them for meeting their academic goal. The financial incentive, um, we like to say, gave them the street credit to get in the program. I have yet to find a student who would, who would turn down the opportunity to achieve $200 every semester. The program started very small. I think our first cohort of kids, we had enough money to get 70 kids in the program. We have some um, alums of, of Wayne who, who, are, who are donating their time, money, and energy to make this program possible. None of this happens without Richard Help. None of this happens without Richard Help. Programs dead in the water without Richard Help. I'll talk a little bit about the world that you're about to enter. I'm holding in my hand here more computing power than but by a, a thousand percent over what I was trained on at Wayne Memorial. And I was very fortunate at Wayne Memorial that they taught us how to program computers. That turned into a career which turned into businesses which turned into the ability to, to give back a little bit. This is a reason Rich likes to sign checks himself. He looks at all the names, he likes to look at the addresses and remember the neighborhoods where he grew up and recognizes some of those addresses. It's really important to him to not use a stamp on these checks and make sure he signs himself. You could tell when we first met him, he truly believes in the program and again, I think that was infectious. Like we wanted to be a part of that. We all have Wayne pride and very happy to be from Wayne Memorial and he he definitely is that person. No doubt he paved the way for us, right? So it, it, it was much easier for us to get involved in the program after a lot of the arduous work that he did and obstacles that he had to overcome through establishing the program. It made it that much easier for us to become involved. Here's your formula for success in life. Are your chances for success? It's your talent multiplied by your effort plus some love. And notice that it's a multiplication of 
about how much effort you put in. Overall, my first semester of high school was rough. I got a 1.5 GPA, and I failed one of my electives. I felt like I was getting lost in the shuffle with so many kids at school, and I wasn't sure if I was going to fit in. My goal was to maintain a 4.0, and I feel like a failure because I never came up short before, especially when it, came, when it pertained to my academics. Growing up, I never really knew my parents. I still don't know much about them, other than the fact that my mother is a heroin addict. Kids from Wayne don't get stuff handed to them. We go out and take it. I didn't have an, any hope until I joined Champions my junior year. I heard about the Champions program from some friends and a few teachers, and I decided to join so that I can get an extra push and support at school. Uh, it was very afraid of algebra. In the beginning of the school year, every time I began to teach, he would literally yell out, I can't do this, I don't understand. I never done well in math, and I would say, no calm down, just give me a chance. Champions helped me achieve my goals. Thanks to that extra push and support, my GPA has gone from a 2.0 first semester to a 3.1 GPA this card marking. I had to set a goal for myself so I could do it. And Ms. Brandon, she helped me with that. You know, she kept me posted on my grades, to tell me why I needed to turn in at her class and in others. So, like, without her, I wouldn't actually be here right now. My first year of high school, I literally achieved a 0.0, .0 GPA. This past semester, I achieved a 3.1. Since Champions... I plan to attend Henry Ford Community College. I am a full-time college student, also a full-time worker. I am a Gates Williams Scholar recipient. We have two students this past school year who earned the Gates Millennium Scholarship, meaning that Bill and Melinda Gates will pay for not only that student's bachelor's degree, but their master's and doctorate should they choose to continue. Um, it's very rare for a school to have somebody earn, earn that scholarship, and we had two this past year, and we had one the year before that. Now we kind of hit this point now where some of our students are in Harvard, Princeton, all kinds of different schools all over the country. Currently, I know we're up to 700 kids in the program, so we went from 70 to 700. But like any mentoring program, the, the real significant gains are the, the long-lasting relationships that occur over the years of these kids. My relationship with Mr. Gray didn't end when I walked across the stage last year. It still goes on to this day. He calls me once a week, sometimes more, just to check up on me and see how I'm doing. To have another human being, an adult, who's in a position of respect who, who's a college graduate who makes the decision that I'm going to care about you, that what you do, and, you know, they get, the, the, the mentor gets hooked into it as much as the, the student. Are you a mentor? I am, yes. Yeah, I've been a mentor from the start. Yeah. I've been a champion mentor for as long as I can remember. I wanted to call him when I found out that he made his goal, but I didn't want to spoil the surprise. So I just screamed at home um, because I was so happy for him. A hallmark of our high school now has become the relationships our staff builds with students. I started getting calls from people wanting to send their children to Wayne Memorial High School, but they'd always mention the Champion program. And that is dollars, and that brings in pupil funding from the state, which then helps us do even greater work when we're not losing kids. Now you see kids on report card day running to their champions to show them that they made their goal and that they're successful and that they're moving on to the next grade level and that they got the grades they wanted. We have all heard the saying, Wayne Pride. We all have Wayne Pride. Wayne Pride. Wayne Pride. Wayne Pride to me means toughness. This has to become the community's program. It's not just the school, it's the community as a whole. Regardless of where you are from or where you are now in life, I think it's important to have a connection back to those roots and give back to them. When you have the police officers, the school board, and the students and the families all loving the program, I mean, what does it tell you? Kids do not celebrate failure there anymore. Kids celebrate success and they help each other, and they encourage each other, and they're there for each other. To find something that has some authentic, altruistic value, that, that works with kids who've never passed the class, who works with kids who are 4.0 students, students of Wayne become better human beings. Like, I want a kind of a harder goal. I really want to work for it, you know? Like, you guys are just giving me $200. I want to earn it.